Now, I should say right off the bat, one big to little bit of trivia me. about this film <laughs> I did find is that when this movie was released on Tubi, it was released on April 15th, 2022, which is exactly 100 years oh. since the Titanic sinking. Whoa! Whoa! And of course, The Asylum, which we love we here on Tubi Tuesdays. Previously get on Titanic 2. <laughs> <laughs> Previously on the Titanics. This was Titanic 1. Titanic. Look at that green screen. <laughs> Um, oh, it's the first movie. Look, look at all that room that uh, has, there is for Leo on that uh, door. <laughs> on that door, yes. Oh my god. Why is it, why is it that the, the slow motion looks like it's people pretending to be in slow motion? It's like, Whoa. It really does, doesn't it? <laughs> they, they couldn't when afford is... the slow motion technology. I don't know. When are we going to see Titanic vs. Sharktopus? I mean... <laughs> That's coming out this year. <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised they haven't done, like, Titanic versus Sharknado versus Velocipasta. That, that might happen very soon, given uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> what I... we know about Tubi and the Asylum. Well, yeah. Jamie Bamba Harry. is in this movie, and I've interviewed him twice. And Adeline Adeline McCord. McCord? Jesus, if I wasn't in before, I'm fucking in now. You know what's funny? This is actually legit my second Jamie Bamber film in the last 48 hours. What did you watch with Jamie Bamber previously? Uh, a film called The Lair, which is on Shudder. It's uh, Neil Marshall's latest film, and no joke... Mm. Jamie Bamber's voice, because he plays like an American, like oh. military sergeant, and he sounds exactly like Matthew McConaughey. It's like, all right, all right, all right. Well, don't forget, Jamie Bamber did the American accent all through Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, but clearly he forgot how to do it. <laughs> well, it has been a little while. Now, yes. now, that's enough Shutter talk. That's our different other podcast, <laughs> Shutter Saturdays, <laughs> followed yes, by Suplex Saturdays. <laughs> Suplex said, uh, "We'll move that. We got to move that to Suplex Sundays now because of Shutter Saturday." Yeah, Suplex yeah, Sundays, exactly. and the tagline is "Less sex, more suplex." Based on Bede's tweet earlier today. Okay, I stay corrected. It was a hundred and ten years ago, not a hundred years ago. Oh my it's god, it's a Titanic TV. three. Yes. No wait. <laughs> wait, I missed that. It said Titanic three, but then it said it claimed all these lives. Oh my god, we've got a vlogger. <laughs> so is this meant to be changed. Titanic 3? Yeah, this is Titanic 3. Which okay. so, this yeah. is, this, so this is the sequel to Titanic 2. Yes. And the ship is Titanic 3. Okay, so they meant the previous Titanics had yeah. deaths. And this one they're hoping not to, but we know we're totally getting it. I gotta say, compared to when we saw Titanic 2, like, the the effects on this one aren't actually too bad. They actually well, look decent so, so far. So far, it's actually a pretty decent looking movie. Yeah, that, that's they're actually, actually true, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, like, they're, they're talking about a book called The Wreck of the Titan, which was a book that came out 14 years before the actual... Mm. Seeking of the Titanic that was so eerily accurate to everything that happened on that ship on that day. People thought like it was like like incredibly mm. creepy and eerie. Okay, we don't know what she's done, but she's gotten on the ship. And you notice she's wearing an old timey tile dress that has not been ironed. She's say, a you know, hipster. <laughs> she's a dirty she's a dirty hipster. <laughs> These She's dirty hipsters on this boat will not make me wear a vest. <laughs> <laughs> no damn dirty hipsters! And I'm still not turning off my Xbox! You can stop with your woke, crappy agenda! I brought my Xbox on this boat just to make sure it was on the whole time. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I put it on try. extra power mode. <laughs> extra power mode. I don't think it's a good idea for actually taking items that were on the original sinking of the ship and put them on Titanic 3. That, that's a bad 
Oh. Heebie jeebies, right? I mean, there. I get that they want to honor those people, but, like, this is just cursed, man. <laughs> I mean, they're going to get up to. These... Sorry. <laughs> we rescued these items from the bottom of the ocean just to put them back on the boat. <laughs> I wonder if they've got the sexy uh, drawing of Kate Winslet. That'd be awesome if I, they did. I don't know why I'm French. <laughs> <laughs> Titanic, free, free, free. Their next assignment. <laughs> uh, I gotta stop snorting. Hey, it's Jamie Bamba. I think. No. Yes. Yeah, no. it is Jamie Bamba. Pretty sure it is. It is. That's Jamie Bamba. Hell yeah. At least he's doing a British accent in this movie. I can't tell. <laughs> we have yeah, to keep the him. volume low. Yeah, that's definitely him. Oh, he's got a... Don't touch that! Don't ah, touch that! Scot Don't touch that, I'm from Scotland! <laughs> oh, faith my god. <laughs> I am from the land of David Tennant. <laughs> now. I'm from the land of Outlander. <laughs> now, we're going the to go get some haggis! <laughs> Tell they had more of a budget on this film compared to Titanic. Can they too. not see them? Maybe. Mm. Yeah, this actually seems to have a very decent budget, or at least it's using it pretty well. Maybe not so much there, but that, his head was superimposed on his own body. His head looked bigger than the rest of. We his praise body. the have special you... effects, and they pull that on us. <laughs> it needs to have just a little bit of asylum in this movie. It does. Yes. And what did yes, I tell you? That fucking dickhead was the first to go. And he only had three days left of retirement on his blog. Uh, yes. <laughs> Pardon me. Oh my gosh, his name was Jackson. <laughs> Wait, what? His name oh was no, Jackson. Jamie Banber. I thought the other yeah. guy was walking back and I'm like, didn't he just get killed? Calm down. Actually, now, tell, now tell me, Annalyn McCord, do I sound like you and McGregor? Hello there. <laughs> so say we all. <laughs> <laughs> I need my phone. Oh my gosh. I lost it. How am I supposed to TikTok now? So she wants a lemon martini. Okay. Oh, is it filmed on the camera. video, I wonder? <laughs> That's the that phone is what they filmed this movie on. All right, who had explosion uh, in the pool? It, it was an explosion. The Titanic just let out a huge fart. They've got a code brain. Oh, there you go. <laughs> More fart jokes in 2023 on Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> yes. His hat is huge. It is like, his head's like this small, and his hat is like this big. <laughs> his hat's getting bigger. <laughs> his hat is almost as big as Louis Lass's ego. He, he forgot to go to wardrobe fittings. <laughs> the Asylum only had one hat for the entire shoot. I mean, it's one way to save money. Yes. Well, they just did. Because <laughs> we couldn't afford them. So, how does the ship have a mind of its own? Is it possessed by the ghosts of the Titanic? Oh, I would see, assume. It's, it's possessed by the night. Oh! <laughs> oh! It's that jar creature. Everyone's about to get really horny. Mm. Ha! Ah, everyone, it's a creature in a jar. Are you yeah. possessing ah. Titanic 666 creatures? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm making it very horny. And it Ew. wants to ram all the icebergs because it's horny for icebergs. Ew. <laughs> and oh. also, it's got Adeline McCord on it, so, you know, hello. I mean, sorry. Hello there. <laughs> Someone needs to draw the, uh, the brain in a jar with the wig, wearing the wig from Ninja Terminator. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to do that after this podcast. You better. Anyways, I'm going to go out and find Shannon. 
and make her even more horny. I'll be back. Blech.